Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walk you through a very interesting concept with respect to system Verilog randomization. Now, the concept is pre and post randomization. Okay, pre and post randomize. Now, this pre and post randomize methods are also called as callback methods for randomization. Okay, so every class has built in pre and post randomize methods. And this pre and post randomize methods are automatically called by this randomize method. So no need to call those pre and post randomize method. Okay. Now see if we are randomizing anything or any class property which is declared as a ran. So simulator first executes the pre randomize method. After that randomization actual randomization will happen and after that post randomize will be happen. So this is what the flow is and uh, this pre and post randomization or randomized methods can be overridden. Okay. So if we want that our logic to be executes after randomization, we need to declare that logic in post randomized method. Okay. And if we want that our logic to be executed before randomization, we need to declare that logic in the pre randomized method. Now we will try to put these points in the practice or we will write a code for that and uh, we will try to understand these points okay now see this is what a class abc i have declared very simple and i have declared uh, rand variables a and b which of four bits bit type in nature okay so to raise to power 4 16 combinations can be possible and we need to declare rand because in future we are going to randomize this class properties now see this is what the function void this is what the syntax for pre randomize method function void pre randomize empty parenthesis and in that I am just displaying the values of this class properties a and b and after that I am declaring the function void post randomize method in which I am just displaying the value of this class a and b and already I have told you that this pre randomize will execute before randomization is called okay and this post randomization will be execute after randomization is happen now what ex what our expectation from this is this pre randomize method will display the values of this class properties a and b before randomization so before randomization as you know default values of bit type is 0 0 so we will expect 0 from this pre randomize method okay and this post randomize will generate the random value after randomization is called now this is what the top module class instance for that h1 and this bit success i am declaring in order to check our randomization is pass or fail within initial begin just memory allocation for this class instance and success is equal to h1 dot randomize this is what the same syntax object dot randomize and we are applying this to success in order to see whether our randomization is pass or fail okay now this in the dollar display i'm just displaying the value of this success now see just uh, run this code qberry log file name and we will see what the output we are getting from that code okay now see the output is we are getting is pre randomized method is displaying the value of a and b is equal to zero Whereas post randomized method displaying the random number of okay. a is equal to 3 b is equal to 8 and success is 1 because randomization is pass. So this is what the simple concept of pre and post randomized method. So if you want if we want that our logic to be execute before randomization we need to write that logic in the pre randomized method. And if you want that our logic to be executed after randomization, we need to write that logic in post randomized method. So this is what all about pre and post randomization with respect, with respect to system Verilog randomization. So with this, I hope you have understood the concept of pre and post randomization. And also I hope that you have enjoyed this video. So thanks for watching. Thank you.